with the national team. We travel a lot, we're together a lot. So when we have a free afternoon or a day off, we like to do fun things kind of off the beaten track. So we're in LA for training camp and we decided to go cheese tasting. So we got cheese addiction. Yes. And we all also would like to say we had a minor disagreement about cheese. I kicked Rachel in the face. So if you notice her, her blue nose, <laughs> It's because I said cheese is the most amazing thing in the world, and she said no, world peace is probably the most amazing thing. So, minor disagreement, but so Carly yeah. was trying to be uh, tricky at practice. Did a little bit of a high kick, in my opinion. I was trying to head the same ball, and basically I got kicked in the face. So, tried to cover it up for you guys, so I looked really nice. But I think you can still kind of see the black and blue a little. But that's not going to stop me from cheese tasting because I love cheese. We don't need to smell it; we just need to taste it. The next cheese you'll be trying is probably one of the most daring cheeses you'll have today. It's called Stinking Bishop from England. It's a creamier cheese, but it's what we call a wash rind, so it's stinky. Oh, did you smell it? I ate it. Smell it. Smell it. <laughs> smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Did you eat it yet? Smell it. <laughs> I don't know if I can eat it. Pungent, pungent. That would be the word. <laughs> mm, I'm yeah. It's kind of like when we went there <laughs> and we played England before the World Cup. Mm -hmm. you remember, we lost yeah. two to one. Yeah. Bad taste in your mouth. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Same thing. That's true. <laughs> it says ten weeks old. Is that is that old? America. The dry jack. That one's definitely gonna be the best. Most likely. Peanut butter cheese. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and compare it to the actual Australian national team that we play against. <laughs> it is very bold and brazen. It's like a little Lisa Devana <laughs> in a cheese form. It's very good. Norway. School. Creamy. It's good. This is like candy cheese, it sounds like. <laughs> Caramel cheese. Those Norwegians. Genius. I will I like, I like blue cheese. I will eat almost cheese. everything, but blue cheese is one of those things that like, you don't like when people cheese. ask what you don't like, I say blue cheese. <laughs> Do you eat it yet? No, I'm waiting for you. I'm, I'd rather, I'm going for it big time. I, I got a big multi piece right here. Yeah, I still don't like blue cheese. I think my favorite cheese of the day was the baked ricotta because it was unlike anything I've ever tasted. You know, it was creamy, light, uh, lemony. I felt like I was eating a piece of cake. I'm not kidding. I can certainly tell you which ones weren't my favorite. <laughs> the no. French, the French and the English. I like cheese, but that's like a brand or species of cheese that I just can't palate. Um, so I'm gonna go with my good old German, the Tilsit. Well, that's it from Cheese Addiction here in Long Beach. Um, it was a wonderful experience for us, but now we've got to brainstorm what we're gonna do next. Chocolate. I love chocolate. Donuts. Ooh, love donuts. Cheeseburgers. No cheeseburgers. <laughs> Cheeseburger. Always got wine. That's a good one. Cheers to that. <laughs>